What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I am Will McCason. I do videos on luxury, fashion, lifestyle, and travel. If any of that interests you, you are going to love it here in this channel. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I load new videos. In today's video, I am going to be doing the FOMO tag which I was tagged by my lovely friend, Rochelle from Hawaii. What's up, babe? Thanks so much for the tag. And basically, you guys know what FOMO is, fear of missing out. We experience it in our everyday lives, travel, adventure, and in this case, fashion. So I am going to share with you guys two bags that gave me all the feels of FOMO. And the very first bag is the Men's Gucci Marmont's Black Leather Messenger Bag, you guys. I am obsessed with this bag. I don't carry it a lot, but I am obsessed with this bag. And I will tell you where the FOMO came from with this bag. When the Marmot line dropped, you all know, it went bananas. I mean, there were people were getting it at every corner. Women had velvet bags, colorful bags. We got belts, you name it, they had everything. And for the men, I feel like if you guys did not see my video, I think I was called Luxury Items I Regret Not Buying. I will leave it linked above. But basically, we had like the Marmont sandals, which I regret not getting, and this Marmont backpack, which I can't find. Um, but we did not have much. So when this bag came out, I was like, I need, I need that. I need something from this Marmont line. It's going crazy. It's going to be a classic. I need something. And when I finally found this on Fashion File, because I slept on it, when it was really heavily in production. I really wanted the brown one, but I don't even know. I can't even find that on the pre-love market. But when I found this one on Fashion File, I was like, it's a no-brainer, I need it, I snagged it, it's mine for life. Now I'll tell you the reason why I don't carry as much as I thought I would. Do you see that beige interior? Do you peep the beige interior? Without a doubt, I know I would, I would destroy the interior of that bag. And I believe when I unboxed this, I said that I was gonna get a bag organizer, which I did not do. But I really think I'm gonna make a mental note um, to do that after I film this video because I do love the bag. If this had black interior, this bag would be destroyed probably. I would wear it every single day because it's the perfect size, it's the perfect width. It will prevent me from carrying too much, but it's not to the point where I can't carry my essentials. I think that this is the perfect size bag. It's like dressy enough. It's also casual enough if you need to. Like, I just, I love everything about this bag. It is durable because it's that pebbled leather. I, I The only bad thing I have to say about it is the interior, which is beige, which I also do love about it at the same time because I think it gives it this very elegant touch to it. But at the same time, I don't think that it makes it super functional for an everyday kind of beater bag, if you will. But yes, this is my Gucci Marmot messenger bag and it is the first bag that I had fear of missing out on. Next up is my Monogram Eclipse bum bag. And let me tell you, this ticked off two of my FOMOs, okay? So going back to the beginning, when the Monogram Eclipse line came out, I hated it. I was a classic Monogram guy and I was like, who is this imposter and why are you here? Go away. And so then as time went on, I started falling in love with the Eclipse line. I wanted the keep ball. I wanted a small leather good. I wanted a coin. I wanted, I started, I got the itch, right? I was bit by the bug. And then when the bum bag situation went haywire, I believe in like 2018, 19 or something like that. I can't remember what year it was, but when the bum bag explosion hit 2.0, because there was a bum bag it wasn't really an explosion, it was just a bum bag like bleep that came out like in the early 2000s, which I was a part of and no one bought into it. I had my Gange Pouchette from like 2004, I believe. And we all know that I picked up this Geronimo bag. I forget what year it was, but this was pre bum bag explosion. So when the most recent bum bag explosion hit the scene, I was like, mm, these are different. They're much, much bigger and I'm not buying into it. But then this lovely came around and I was like, hmm, there's something different about it. It's not like over, cause I feel like the modern day bum bags are just like ginormous fanny packs. Like, like my Geronimo and my Gange Pouchette, they are, I guess they fall into the bum bag, but they were just smaller 
And I don't know, they weren't so aggressive in size. And although this is aggressive in size, it's not given like that big um, Louis Vuitton bum bag, like the monogram one that has the handle on top. It's not giving that. It's not giving that big, ginormous Gucci flat bum bag that has Gucci plastic across the front. It's not giving that either. So this was just something really different. I love that it had a, like a structure to it. I love that it actually wasn't flush to the body like a traditional fanny pack. I love that it has this handle here, super versatile. You just slide this off and you slide this over here and now you can hold your bag like this. I don't know, I just, I really love this. I love that it has this compartment here to put like, let's say train tickets, coins, I don't know. It is a really, really amazing bag. And like I said, I was not here for bum bags, but once this bum bag came out, I was like, I have to get it. I felt like I had to hop on the last car of the bum bag train, unless I was gonna miss it. And I'm glad I did because there's no other bum bags that, I, that even remotely strike my interest. So I'm super glad that I got this. I love the Monogram Eclipse line now. Like I just, I'm completely obsessed with it. And I do love this bag. It has become like my summer bag. I would love to change that and really rock it in the fall and winter with like all black or like a very monochromatic look. But yeah, I, I truly, truly love this bag and I'm super, super thankful that I got it. So you guys, that's it. Just a really, really quick video. Thank you so much, Rochelle, for tagging me in this video. I, again, I'm always super late. I'm getting better though. I am getting better with my tags and putting them out quickly, but I don't know who I have or have not seen this video from. After I close this out and while I'm editing, I will go through YouTube and see who I do not see this video from, who I would love to see the video from, and I will leave them tagged below. Also, if you decide to do this tag, it's really, really fun. Do it and tag me in it so I can check out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.